Hello YouTube, this is Kanakadia. We are back playing DNS Tech Pack. We are on the TriCraft server and I've got a present. And although it is snowing, it is not in fact Christmas. It's just another beautiful day. Just uh, sun came up around sunrise here on my mountain base. Get a good, good angle here. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what I really want to do with, with, with this. This is kind of, I guess, my main entrance, but it's really just a you know, hole in the wall. Let me show you here. Uh, you've got kind of a way in through the southern way. If you can kind of see on the mini map here, see this little, little squiggle this way? This is actually a path, a dirt path I ha I'm having to make to get between these two mountain ridges. I may actually make a bridge when I get around to it right here, but we'll see what if I get around to it. I don't think you can see it. Oh, yes, you can. Okay, see this little thing right here? That squiggle? That's a dirt path. That's the ne nearest thing to a uh, front porch that I have. Otherwise, all I have is just this door and my mountain base. So it's actually been a while since I recorded, and that has, has a very simple reason why. I have been sick. Incredibly sick. Like, I haven't been this sick in years. Vomiting, di di uh, well, not, not that, fortunately, but uh, I had a, a fever, really, really bad fever for days. I literally had laryngitis where I lost my voice, so I couldn't record for a while. But I am back here, and I actually got a present I wanted to show you. I wanted to look at, into on camera. So here I've got, oh, and in the chest, too, a gift from Merp. Oh, Mr. Payton gave me a gift. Okay, now, um, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but I, I knew that I built this. Did I, I, built, a, did I built a compressor? I, I must have. Huh. So I think I made this off camera. So what I'm working on now is IC2 stuff. And I, I this is not finished yet. I got a little bit of an issue. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, and the chest to get from Merp. Hmm. Okay, now I'm actually wondering maybe if there's another part to this this gift. Let me check out downstairs. I haven't gone down there in a while. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Because it, it doesn't seem like that's the kind of thing he would start with. It just seems like you know, some another present. I know I'm they're looking gift horse in the mouth, but... Huh. Oh, that is weird. That is... That's How'd that happen? Huh. Okay, uh, I planted a slime sapling in here, and it looks like part of it grew. Hmm. Weird. I mean, it partially uh, decayed? Odd. Uh, let's check outside here just quickly. Alright, so, important question. Did this one uh, give me a node? When we, when we tell, when we get actually close, it might be a little I'll see it, but probably not. Let's see here. No, seriously. Damn. Wow, th this is the second one I've, I've planted, which is not giving me a pure node. I really want a pure node in here. Crap. Okay, I, I, got, I, got, I got another one. I, I'll do that later on. But, hmm. I can't believe any of stairs. Let me check there uh, there also. Uh, so I haven't not done I haven't done very much down here. I actually want to work here down this episode a little bit. I want to formally lay out where I'm going to put uh, my witchery and downcraft areas. And I think the best way to do it is going to be using uh, the building guide from Open Blocks. Or I actually tell you, I wonder where from. Let me check here. Building area uh, builders building water spring. From Buildcraft? I don't know what that is. Uh, here you go. Open blocks. Building guide. That is. Oh, it's just glass and a torch. It's cool. So let me make that quickly while I'm thinking of it. And I wait. Do I actually have? I do. Oh, I do have sand. Nice. I was actually worried about that. So I I have I did do a small trip, and with great difficulty, obtain a decent amount of sand. I think. Sorry, I also I also decided to use some of my spare wood, and make it into charcoal because I needed it for various operations. Let me just do this while I'm thinking of it. Hmm. Oh, oh, that, that's why that's coal. I should probably keep the coal. I think coal is used for a couple specific purposes. I'll run alone in space. I'd, I'd open a second uh, metal thing. I'm beginning to get to the point where I may have to do. Uh, what should we call it? 
a thingy. What's the thingy called? Uh, I, I may have to do an AE system. I do want to do one eventually, and I, I believe uh, it was um, Eddie Magpie in a comment on one of my previous videos. Uh, he said he he was he was uh, keeping keeping an eye out for any other AE two meteors for me. I, I greatly appreciate. Oh, sorry, is that? I greatly appreciate that, Eddie. I can certainly use. Uh, so, oh, yeah. No, sorry. No, is that it? One. There. No, not that. That's it. Okay, sorry. One. I just need one cobblestone, and I need one stick. There we go. Because, because in the new version of Open Blocks, you need a levered or redstone signal to activate the building guide. So that's gonna be useful. Huh. I, I want to open my present, but I, 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 I kind of get the, the impression that maybe there's another, another part of the present. Let me look up here. Um, let, uh, I, I can't imagine he would have put a, the other part of it in my spawn house, would he? Let me check there first, because it, it just O oh, and in the chest. It just I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm too much of an English nerd to... Uh, Make make me believe that that was oh I gotta fix that when I get a chance. Maybe take some TNT to that that thing. No, I'm not seeing anything here. Oh, actually, I do have an idea. Let me just got this. Yeah, that would be sweet. Yeah, right here. I have an idea. I was thinking about this while I was at work, and as I did, I did finally go back to work today. I'm gonna build a greenhouse right out here. I'm gonna power it using um. The, the stuff from the building the uh, big reactor. I'm going to use a um. Uh, MFR setup. I'm going to uh, get a, an animal pen going eventually. What I want to do is I want to have a green green glass here with a retractable roof. Very because retractable because I'm pretty because sure, I'm pretty sure that actually it's a good place to test it. Uh, here, it's it's snowing now, so I drop this down here. I do not. I, I'm I'm, just, I'm not sure if snow can accumulate on glass. I'm not sure. I'll find out. But if it can, it'd be kind of cool to look at. If not, then that's actually a better material to use in any case. So I want to put that in there because once we get into witchery, I'm I know I'm going to need some plant material in there. And I'm not really planning on doing a lot of like large scale uh, production, but I'm I'm sure at some point I am going to need a decent amount of you know belladonna and that kind of thing. And the fastest way to do that is with an MFR system. Let me just check here. I got my house. Um, Angel lilies are in pretty good shape. Get some more cotton because I think I think I'm actually gonna need some cotton in this episode. I've got a, a list of things I'd like to accomplish, and one of them actually does involve cotton. I love like I can get almost a half stack of, of cotton from, from one crop here. Let's see. Anything in my in my garden in back? Nothing here too. Okay, I, I guess Mr. Payton only had the, the the one thing. Yeah, I need to work on this area. I think I may actually change the floor. I've got an idea what I use this this uh, basement for, but the floor just looks too much like a bathroom. Yeah. Here, nine string. Not not too bad from one, one little prop. All right, so let, let's head back and let's see what we got. I'm actually confused as what the heck causes that, 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 that thing. It's possible it's like one block higher. Uh, and that, that's what, what's causing it. Let me grab my hammer. And let me go far enough away. There we go. Make it a little bit more of a ceiling. That, that might help a little bit. I have been making a little bit of uh, holes in the ceiling here. Just to make it so it's a little bit bigger. I played with the idea of actually making the ceiling like a, like a dome, like a, a really hollowing out the mountain, but it just doesn't seem worth it. I mean, I, I, as much as I like the idea, it'd be a lot more space, and if I do actually want to make another floor up there, it would be, be a, a crimp in, the, in those particular plans. Let's see what we got here. Oh, and in the chest too. Wait a minute, and in the chest too. Oh, I think he's running. I, th I didn't think it was. Okay, so we got... Aw, he, he gave me a wolf head and some gunpowder. That was nice of him. Sweet. I think I said in, in an earlier episode that I was interested in getting into the werewolf aspect of... Uh, oh, I can't wear it as a hat. That's too bad. The werewolf aspect 
of witchery. And I think I will get into that eventually, but that's pretty advanced stuff. I still don't really understand where a lot of it, a lot of it uh, comes from. So I did actually do I have a, a hellhound head also. I've got the nether. Drop that in there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. P. Cool. So that, that was, that was uh, the first thing checked off my list. Next up, let's head down here, shall we? Going to munch on some steak while I do it. So I measured this out before, and I know that this area is a, at least 60 wide. The problem is going to be uh, if it, how I can make sure to get it uh, at least 35 deep. That's going to be a tricky part. So I need to count. Uh, don't never do math on camera. Uh, 16 times 2 is 32. So from this point, which I think is the yeah. This is from the highway. One thing I want to do, I think I'm going to get more glass, actually. And I want to turn, basically, I think from here to here into glass. I can actually move this wall out if I need to. Let's see what we got here. So, oh, I should have got me a tape mesh. That would have been smart of me. One, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 13, 14, 15, 16. Cool. So this is 16. All right, so let's see what we got here. So we have block count, change. Okay, so this thing is meant to be in a, where is it? Oh, okay, cylinder, cuboid, triangle, pentagon. Oh, cuboid, that's, that's what I want, actually. So cuboid mode, I want it to be 9 by 9 by 10. No, I want it to be, uh, I actually want it to be, wait, I was going down. I don't want it, is it? Oh, it is. It's actually one, one high, by thirty-three by thirty-three. I just realized this is probably too far away, so let me just get an idea what a th what thirty-three by thirty-three looks like. Oh, wrong way. That way. I know. Oh, that, that, that that's uh, that's the wrong coordinates. My my bad. That's that's the y coordinate. Shoot, somebody is getting under here. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. One downside about this. Bring this down to... I'll make it, make it too high so I can actually see it. There you go, drop that, that, and that just for neatness sake. There you go, all the way up. I hope there's a way you can make it faster than this, but I think this is as fast as... So, 33... Uh, 33 by 33. Alright, so this is 33 by 33. That looks about doable, I think. Hmm. Unfortunately, it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. How is that not? Hmm. All right. So, so the reason I wanted it that big is because this this is actually. Yeah, this is this is what I'm looking for. How far out does it go? It can't be that. Okay, there is no way. I'm I'm actually totally miss doing this wrong. This is thirty three. Hmm. Either my perception is off, or there is something truly wonky about this. Because this is from there to there. All right, be right back with a tape measure. Okay, so you know how I said I was going to need some uh, string in this episode? Definitely, we'll need it. So we need some string and some dandelion to make tape measure real. And then we need just four pieces of iron. To make tape measure, this thing from Bibliocraft is a real help when you want to do any kind of like I wouldn't even call this a macro build. I just call this a, a medium-sized build, or maybe a, a, a build within a build. But I thought I measured this, and this thing was at least sixty that way. But it's got to be at least thirty this way. Yeah, okay, let's go from the wide part. So let's start with here. First marker, and let's see. Da -da 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 -da. 22. Okay, so 
bit of a delay, but yeah. This is 33. I thought so. Hold on. Yeah, so this is 33. From there to there is 33. So there's no reason why... Okay, this is sort of bulge out of here. I can probably, I might be able to deal with that when I get a chance. But no, look, it comes from here. Are the contours of this thing really that wonky? Hmm. Yeah, I guess they are. All right, so I'm going to have to do some, some off-camera landscaping, try and maybe contour this mountain out that way. Same over here. Is it, oh, no, not really, because this thing seems farther that way. But now here's the other part. How can this be... How big is this? Let's, I got to try this way. There and all on the other side. Dippy hop, skippity hop, all my way, all the way. Skipping over the grass into the mossy cobblestone. And yeah, so this way, this way is, is over 60, or over 66 rather. I want two 33, 33 areas, and this thing should give it to me. I'm just not sure why this thing is, is acting weird. Okay, so I think if I break it with a, I think if I break it with a pickaxe, it should retain information. But I think if I break it with my hands, it doesn't. I don't remember that correctly. So that's the thirty-three. That's sixty. So if I go maybe a third of the way, if I can. Oh, actually, I want to approximate. I've got a tape measure. So if I want this to be the far wall, I just have to go from there. Uh, I said 16. This is 17, so it is this one. Oh, actually, before I do that, I want to do one thing first. I've tried to do this before. Lever. Always be scanning. Let's see if this works. Yep, I was right. So this is apparently working. But it's not working that way. Uh, according to that, this is the edge. Yeah, that could be it. So if I want to go from there to here, this should be an, another 30. No. 27. Wait a minute, something's not right. What, what did I do wrong? I don't know why I did it wrong here. Okay, wait, wait, 24? No, 34. Huh. This should not be as complicated as I'm making it. 76. I just, I just measured it once, and it was correct. This thing isn't going through the wall, is it? No, it wouldn't be. 33 is 16, yeah, 16.5, yeah, so that should be correct, even if it's 1 over. But we should still have at least 33 on the other side, and we don't. Why am I doing math wrong? Hmm. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm going to try the tape measure, because this, this thing is, you know, something wrong with this. How oh, well. Okay, so let's let it, I just do it like this way, shall we? I'm going to estimate if that to that is 33, then here to here, then we want, must out on 17. That should be the midpoint. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay in this. 16. So this is 17. Here, we have more steak. I'm running, running around and working up a sweat. So this is the midpoint that way. I want to do. I do want to make it uh, closer to that wall because you, as you can see, it's fairly close to this column. If if I make it uh, any farther this way, I would have to relocate my my access point to the upper and lower floors. So if that's that way, and from here. Oh, that's right. One only thing about about tape measure, you have to be able to put it where you can actually make a thing. Otherwise, it glitches. The weird part about it. So from here to here 
is 25. That can't be right. 25. Uh, okay, so that's not right. So from here to there, I want, again, I want, I want, to look, I want an imagined number of 17. So 17. This is midpoint. So this is the midpoint of this little, little quadrant. I don't want that. I do not want. Well, I want to keep that there for, just for reference. But this is this is my, my meridian. Th this point here. So I now I take this and I get, I, I go from. Oh, actually, move it again. I go from here to again. I want uh, 17. Uh, went, went a little too far. 18, 17. So this is the end point of one. This is the beginning of the other one. And I go from here. Count in 17. And there it is. That's a, that's the new midpoint. And from here. We go over this way. One more. That should be right. Yep, 17. There's the end. So this is this should approximately be the new area. So now if if I redo this thing correctly, drop this here, put that in place, and apply power to it. It should extend this far, but it doesn't. So why is it not? That's what's confusing me. 17 by 17, because it doesn't. Wait a second. Okay, 17 and 13. It's the freaking radius, not the diameter. Oh, get down, get down, get down. Come on, come on, come on. Bring here. Come on, one more. One more. Good boy. There you go. Okay, now the other one. Ew. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. So 16, close enough. Now I want that same distance. There we go. Hello. Nice to meet you. And number 16. Drop this over on this line. So it's here. There we go. This is the proper way to use a uh, building guide. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it the whole way. No, it's not, no worries. No worries about that. This is what I'm looking for. Two areas, approximately 33 by 33. The only, no, no, sorry. The reason I've been going for that magic number is the following. I need to move that thing. Uh, actually, no, I need to move this thing first. The reason I'm going for that magic number is that is that, that uh, does two purposes. Um, a radius of 33 is approximately the uh, sorry, a diameter of 33 is approximately the area in which a Thaumcraft infusion altar can accept stabilizers. Thir however, a 30 by 30 also happens to be the diameter at which an altar from witchery can ex can accept uh, energy that that is from uh, trees and natural phenomena like I dropped my lever. Detachable lever. Those of you who actually get that reference, uh, you should be ashamed of yourself. So let's drop this and use this as a guide. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. This is kind of a rebuilding episode. Like I said, I've been sick for, for the last couple of days. So kind of the best you can hope for me is eventually being able to do math correctly. Sorry about that. Although I do actually have one more thing on my to-do list. Go minute by one, like I like that. Now the downside is, of course, that it goes out the door. But that's to be expected. Okay, let me check. I gotta check the why. That well, and might as well. I'm gonna demolish it in any case. I gotta avoid the lava, and I need that. That is that's gonna be the new edge 
of the, I guess probably, well, for the sake of simplicity, I'm probably going to have the witchery area over here. Uh, only because it's a, it needs to be a little bit smaller. So if I do come in a little bit short on the roof, it won't matter as much. But this matters a little bit more for the thumbcraft area. So that's going to be here. I, I also want to fix that when I get a chance. There's a little bit of a crack in the wall. Not a big deal. I can do something, something cool to make it a little more embellished. However, I do not have as much... Uh, sand as I wish I had. Um, I've, I've, been, I've searched on this world quite a bit here. Those of you uh, who are on the server who are watching, please let me know if you know the location of any deserts. Wait a minute. What am I, what am I saying? I know where there's a desert. I know there's a big desert. In fact, that was the third thing on my list. Cool. So we're, we're going to get to that in, in just, in, just a few minutes. Let me just drop this over here as a reference point. And we'll go. Okay, so uh, one thing I was going to do this episode is get into ore processing, but I've actually, I've actually been recording for longer than I thought. I'm like rambling on about you know maths and all that fun stuff, and uh, it's not the most interesting thing I, I, I realized. Actually, hang on, let me check if you can scan a building. Probably not. Ooh, nice! I got some points from that. Very cool. So I do, in fact, know where there is a copious amount of sand, and, and it's actually some place you know also, because I showed it to you, uh, I think maybe two episodes back, when we opened the mining dimension. There is a mining uh, dimension from Roma, Roma Mining, and right inside there, there is a sandstone village, which I was wrong about. Seriously, okay. My memory must be... I'm, I'm not that old. I'm serious not that old. But I thought that this was actually on a, on a desert biome. It's not. This is actually a mining biome. So there is no sand here. Ooh, ooh I'm just going to jump in this hole. Because I have no sand. I want to play in the sandbox, but there's no sand. Okay, so th those of you who want me to, want to stop me from crying, please let me know if you happen to find a desert in the overworld, because I need some sand badly, at least like, uh, not a whole desert, but at least a decent sized desert worth. Uh, so thank you, th thank you about that. I'll get, I'll get to it when I get a chance. So uh, uh, th this has been Kankidia for the TriCraft server, playing DNS Tech Pack, and I want to play in the sandbox. I'll see you next time.